We have already covered some of the basics of the phone from the perspective of the communicator. This tutorial is designed to show you some of the things that were not covered in our training of the communicator. We will start by showing you the basic layout of the phone. We'll start here with the volume key. It works very simply by allowing you to go up or down to adjust the volume. One thing to keep in mind is that the volume key will adjust various things depending on the current operation of the phone. If the phone is idle like it currently is, you will adjust the ringer volume. However, the volume key will also adjust volume for your handset, speaker mode, and headset mode respectively depending on how you are using the phone at that moment. The speakerphone button is located here. The headset button here. The button in between is the mute button. When that key is read, your side of the conversation is muted. These keys here are called soft keys and will change based on the current operation of the phone. As you can see here in idle, we have a pickup button and an unpark button, as well as the mode button, which we have discussed previously. We will cover the ability to pick up and unpark later in this same video tutorial. On the bottom right of the phone, we have our function keys. The first of these keys is the voicemail button, which is very simple. You press this key and you're immediately connected to the voicemail and prompted to enter your password. Next is the options button. Most users typically use this button for one of two things. Those things are changing your ring type and changing your off hook preference, as can be done from the communicator. When we press the Options button, you can see we are prompted to enter our password. So I will go ahead and do that now. We are now given a list of options. And the one that most people really care about is option 3, which is Change Ring. So we can enter that option by using the scroll key and pressing Edit. And we now have the list to change our ring. Once I have selected my ringer, I can press the ring key to hear what it sounds like. And when we are satisfied, we would hit OK. The only other option that most users look at is the second option to change the auto off hook preference. If we select this, we are again presented with a list of off hook preferences consisting of speaker, headset, wireless headset, and so on. Again, we use the scroll key to select our mode and hit OK. In our previous tutorials, we covered the directory and redial keys. We will now cover how a transfer is done from the phone as it is slightly different than transferring on the communicator. So we will now start a call and show you how that works. If you notice now that a call is in progress, our soft keys have now changed to give us options of parking the call, getting info on the call, and to hang up. We're going to transfer the call by hitting the transfer key, and we will be asked where we want to transfer the call. So we will enter in another extension, and if you notice, I have a transfer key, a consult key, and a more key. Pressing the more key will bring up to the 2VM option, allowing us to send calls straight to voicemail. If we don't do anything, then the phone will automatically do a consultative transfer. When they answer the phone, you notice the phone will ask if we want to transfer the call. If we now press yes, the call is immediately put through to the destination user. Otherwise, we can press cancel and the caller is brought back to us. The next key down is the conference key and that functions identically to how the transfer key works. The only difference is that instead of sending the call away, we are bringing another party in. Next is the intercom key, which allows you to be immediately connected through the speaker of the end user rather than dialing them and having to wait for them to answer. 
Finally, we have the hold key, which simply puts the call on hold. That covers all of the keys on the phone. Leads us back to our last few features. Those features are call pickup and also park and unpark. The easiest way to understand park and unpark is to think of them as a form of hold. Parking allows you to put the call on hold on another extension. This is an especially nice feature if you answered the call on the phone rather than your own and want to relocate back to your office. As opposed to transferring the call and having to rush back to your desk, parking the call gives you the assurance that your call will be waiting for you as you get back to your office. I will go ahead and demonstrate that for you now. We will start by making a call for us to park. Now that we are on a call, I will hit the park key as it appears on our soft keys. After pressing park, we enter in the extension that we want to park the call and press park again. Now our call is on hold on that extension. Unpark works the same way but in reverse. So if a call is on hold for me on another extension, Unpark allows me the ability to pick up the call off of hold and bring it to the extension that I'm currently sitting at. So let's hit the Unpark button now and we'll retrieve the call we just parked by entering in that same extension and pressing Unpark again. Our last feature is the Call Pickup key. Call Pickup works exactly as Unpark except for calls that are currently ringing. So if we are in an office and the phone next to us is ringing, we can answer it by pressing the Pickup Soft key, typing in that extension, and pressing Pick Up. That concludes this tutorial. For more information, please view our other video tutorials or view the user guides at www.sonoranintegrations.com slash docs.html.